Hello and welcome back to this episode of Rad BMX Builds. Today I got something really cool in the garage. I have a very, when I say very, I mean very, very rare hutch. And I want to tell you a little bit of backstory real quick so I can explain to you why this bike is so special and so rare. Quite a while ago, I saw a bike come up for sale in the North Los Angeles Hollywood area. I was living in Newport Beach at the time, so I drove all the way there to get it and it was hanging in a guy's garage. And when I talked to him, he said that he had bought the bike new, had it built, and then hung it in the rafters, never rode it, and it's never even touched the ground, which to me is crazy. I'm not that kind of collector, I ride my bike. So he took it down from the rafters, showed it to me, and it was absolutely amazing. The downside was you can tell that it had been hanging so long that some of the grease had started to seep out and come down onto the bike from like the bearings and whatnot. So no big deal, he put it on a carpet, he brought a carpet out and put it on a carpet to show me the bike. As soon as I paid him, I got on the bike and I rode it down the driveway to my car, put it in the car and drove off as fast as I could because I got a pretty decent deal on this bike and I'm gonna tell you why. This bike is a 2017 Hutch XL26 Pro Racer. And you're thinking a 2017, Hutch is still in business, people. HutchBMX.com. JDB versions, John DeBruin, still makes Hutch bikes in very, very limited numbers. I have two newer Hutches and two old school Hutches. Now the newer Hutches are absolutely sick, absolutely insane. And if you ever get a chance to get one, you absolutely should. Now why is my Hutch so rare? The serial number is 17 for the year, XL26 for the model, 01. So mine is serial number one from 2017, which is absolutely cool. Now what makes this bike so valuable and amazing are the parts. Hutch parts are very hard to come by, and this bike here has every single Hutch part you can get right down to every little tiny thing. So when this bike came out of the rafters that day and I saw that, wow, blew my mind. However, the bike does not look like it did when I bought it. I put a bunch of different things that weren't Hutch on this bike just to make it a little bit better. I know you're tired of me talking. Let me show you this bike. Okay, this Chrome Hutch XL26 serial number one is a beautiful loop tail bike with all of the best parts and components that Hutch can throw on a bike. So let's start off right up here on top, the Hutch grips. I love these grips, I have them on another Hutch of mine. And then I added the Star Donuts, and then I grabbed some MX2 die comp brakes with the sticky finger brake lever. You have the Hutch Pro Bars, Hutch Pad Set, and you can see I added an MCS lightning cable in chrome and black, which is just a really cool look for this bike. We swing around, you can see the decals are perfect on this bike. Hutch Pro Racer, genuine Hutch decals. And then you have the Hutch Deep H Cut stem, and I just added the final touch. I was able to find the star compression bolt on uh, one of the Facebook groups. So a guy on there had a couple, I was able to buy one. Then it has the Hutch headset, which is awesome, I love that thing. And it even says like Hutch high performance on there, I don't know how well you can read it, but it says it down here and it says it up here. So it comes with the Hutch headset, Hutch forks, and we'll talk about the wheels in a minute. Then my good friend Wes gave me the Hutch dice, they're like dice, valve stem caps, nice little touch. I added black washers behind the chrome nut right there. And then we move back, another hutch pad. I have the stem pad, but I didn't want to put it on because that's a piece of jewelry right there, and I just didn't want to cover that up. We come down to the hutch donut seat post clamp, the hutch seat post, and a brand new Cashmax Aero seat, which I really like the look of. And I'll explain why I chose that seat in a minute as well. Out back, we have the Dicomp MX2 V brakes with a little diced brake cable end cap. Now here is where the money's at. These are Hutch Aerospeed three-piece cranks. If you know anything about that or find them for sale, the crank arms alone are about $2,000. The Hutch Bear Trap pedals, 
run for about a thousand dollars. And that's even if you can find them. These are in perfect condition. And then the Hutch Spider right there, I've seen go for about $500. So that is $3,500 in a crank set, which is absolutely insane. And these are flawless, not a single scratch, scuff, or mark on them. You move back to this beautiful loop tail, again with the black washer on the other side of the nut. Just a gorgeous bike. The chrome on this is perfect, I love it. I added my Rad BMX Bike Shop decal there. Okay, let's talk about the wheels and we're gonna talk about why I did a few of the things that I did. So, a lot of people will say, hey, Sean, why don't you have chrome wheels on this? Why don't you do this? Why don't you do that? You know, I tell everybody I do things because it's the way I wanna do them. I don't do them because it's the way you would do them. You do that to your own bike. I want an old school look. Yes, this is a 2017 bike, but I wanna give it an old school BMX look. So what I did is I put the sticky finger lever cover on. I got the old Comp 3 style tires. I got the black wheels with the high flange hubs. I didn't go with the blingy bike show technique or bullseye or rhino light wheels or whatever, you know, the Bassett boys are running on their bikes. I wanted something old school looking and I think that's it. So these are an Araya style wheel in black with a high flange hub and sealed bearings and I really like it. And that's the reason I chose the Cashamax seat. If you're an old school BMXer, you know that name, you know the aero seat, and I thought it was perfect for this bike. So I wanted to give it that old school look, and that's why I did what I did. Okay, so now you can kind of see with the parts on there and the serial number why this bike is in my collection. And honestly, when people ask me, hey Sean, what is your most expensive bike or the one that has greatest value? And value meaning money, in this case, I would say it's this bike. Hutch goes for a lot of money anyways, but with the parts that I listed that are on this bike and the condition that it's in, it, and it's 10 of 10, it's a pure show bike. I think this is probably worth more than any other bike that I have. There's a couple that are up there, but this is definitely in the top three and possibly number one. So what does that mean? How much is it worth? How much would I sell it for? How much could you expect to pay to build a bike like that? So there's certain things that go into those factors like year, make, model, condition, parts, uh, availability, things like that. The bike's not available. They don't sell them anymore. You can't find them. Those parts, they don't make them. That serial number is only one of them that has serial number one for that year. So this bike is a lot of one-offs, so to speak. One of ones, if you will. So this bike, the value, if I were to place a value on this, God, that's hard to do. It would be way up there. It would be in the several thousand dollar mark. And I hate to put values on bikes. If you know me and ever reached out to me, I will never put a value on a bike because I just don't think it's appropriate for me to value other people's bikes. To value my own bikes is one thing, but I can't value other people's bikes. But if I'm gonna put my own value on my own bike for this one, I guess you'd have to wait to see if I ever decided to sell it. But right now, currently, it is not for sale. It is truly one of my favorite rideable bikes. And do I ride it? Absolutely. I've ridden this bike all over Newport Beach. I haven't ridden it a lot here in Arizona, but, and that's where I'm currently at, but not for long. I will and do ride this bike. I do like it in my collection. It's great to look at. The parts are amazing. I knew if I let it go, I'd regret that. If you had this bike and you let it go, you know you can never replace this bike and you may end up regretting it someday too. So for now it stays in the collection. I'm sure you see why. I hope you understand and I'm gonna show you a little B-roll of how special this bike is. Okay, so there you have it. A short little history lesson about my hutch, a little overview of it. And I hope you really liked it. I hope you liked this content. If you do, 
Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Let's get those numbers up. Tell your friends about it. We post rad BMX content weekly. So make sure you give us that subscribe. And as always, stay rad.